All right, so uh, back to our Q&A time. Our first question, it says, in a rather heated family discussion over artificial adornment, I, I think that means jewelry, <laughs> the idea was uh, presented that uh, Ellen White's view on the subject was based mainly on cultural values. My daughter's view on the subject is that where she goes to school, adornment is socially acceptable and does not speak badly of her. Go to our website, in the search engine at the top, type jewelry. I've written a couple of blogs on that, and you will find a lot of references and, and rationale. I will tell you that the primary principle is one of character. Character, not dress or jewelry. Okay, it's really not. Uh, and the issue of character is, do we dress in a way that makes self the center? Uh, do we want to draw attention to ourselves in ways that, that make others want to uh, admire us in unhealthy ways, uh, self-centered, narcissistic, uh, grant? You see, you, you see what our society is doing. That can be done with jewelry. <laughs> it can certainly be done with things other than jewelry. Uh, it can be done with the, uh, the amount of money people spend on clothing. It can be done with cars, it can be done with watches, it can be done with, with eyeglasses of all different crazy uh, adorned types, if you've seen those around, okay? Uh, it can be done with all types of things that are primarily designed to make self the center, and that's the real issue. And the Christian principle is to dress with modesty and to dress in ways that, uh, that, uh, that uh, glorify Christ, and so you will not find a scripture um, position that uh, bans the wearing of jewelry. You won't find it. In fact, you're going to find that the righteous are going to be adorned in heaven with all types of jewelry from, from, from our Savior when we get to heaven. He's going to adorn, adorn us with them. And, uh, and you find that before the fall, Lucifer wore all types of gemstones and, and so forth. And the high priest wore all types of gemstones and so forth. So the issue really is one about self-centeredness, about character and character development. And we are uh, uh, advised in scripture to adorn ourselves with uh, the Christ-like character is how we're to do it. Some of the uh, New Testament things about women with their hair and so forth really had to do with um, the New Testament church trying to distinguish itself from the cult prostitutes uh, in, the, in the fertility cult worship. And so they, uh, the advisement on the dress you find specifically described for women in the New Testament is always distinct, making the women stand distinct from the way the cult prostitutes dressed so that Christian women would not be mistaken for, and thus the practice of Christianity would not be mistaken for the fertility cult practices. And that's primarily what you see happening there. And so I would encourage you to just go to the website, read those blogs. I think you might find those, those helpful. On some social media sites, it has been reported that rabbis in Israel are about to introduce the long-awaited Messiah, maybe within the next few weeks, some are reporting. If that does happen, would this be the beginning of the halfway point to the tri tribulation that some churches talk about? So that's the first question. I'm going to suggest to you, I, I wouldn't see it that way at all. Uh, the, uh, the, the tribulation that uh, the, the Bible speaks about, if you have a, a post-trib understanding rather than a pre-trib understanding, uh, that is a worldwide tribulation period, not a local regional tribulation period. Further, um, uh, I, the, uh, the Jewish Messiah, um, it, it, I don't want to get into the whole issue of Judaism and the way it's taught in Christianity. Uh, my view of, of, the, of that process is that there was one human species created by God in Eden that fell into sin. Every other human being has been a descendant, born in sin, conceived in iniquity. God chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as the family of the human species through whom Messiah would come. But all human beings descended from Adam must experience salvation in the exact same way. There is not different human <laughs> species. There is not different me uh, sin problems. There is not different salvation mechanisms for different ethnic groups. We all experience salvation through Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. Uh, and uh, so uh, any teachings that would suggest a different avenue for salvation for certain ethnic groups 
he is, in my view, misunderstanding the plan of salvation as described in Scripture. And the second question, it says, on CNN News uh, yesterday, And let's see, uh, didn't uh, Jesus succeed in, in being made perfect through the power of the Holy Spirit, just like we are? I have heard uh, from the legal law design that we are declared perfect, all the, all the while we are being made perfect, justification, sanctification. Uh, so doesn't the legal view allow for being made perfect? So uh, so that seems like a different, several different questions. First question, um, yes, Jesus is a human being. He says, I do nothing of myself. Uh, everything I do, I do through the Father. And so Jesus utilized the power, uh, not his own divine power. That was where he was tempted. He was tempted to access his divine power, turn stones into bread and so forth and so on. But he never used his own divine abilities. Everything he did when he performed miracles and walked on water and caused Lazarus from the dead and all these things, these were all done in the same way that... Um, all healed people or, or Elijah and Elisha resurrected people. They didn't do that through their own power. They did that through the power of God working through them. And so Jesus is our human substitute, succeeded by his faith dependence as a human being on his father's indwelling presence, empowering, enlightening, and directing him. So you're correct on that point. I have heard legal design view declare us to be perfect, even though we while we're made perfect. Okay, I haven't heard that uh, that declared while we're being made perfect. Uh, in fact, I've quoted out of uh, various uh, um, uh, articles, including the uh, the lessons that we use, the the specific language that we're declared to be perfect. Uh, excuse me, declared to be righteous while we're unrighteous. I haven't heard anything about declared perfect while we're being made perfect. So I'm not familiar with that terminology. Uh, is it mentioned uh, that some of the priests followed Jesus after he rose, seeing as how he was so explicitly speaking to them, and they knew it? So the, the, in the book of Acts, you find where 3,000 were converted in today in, in, uh, in Peter's preaching. And so you do find indications that um, because of Jesus' witness to them, planting seeds in the death and resurrection, the events that transpired afterwards, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that some who were not hardened against the Holy Spirit were impacted and converted, uh, uh, particularly on the day of Pentecost. So yes, that's true. So that is all the questions we have for today. Uh, so some people asked me a little about what's going on with, with me here in uh, Lynchburg, and so I'll give, give you an update. I have uh, gotten in processed and, and gotten all of my uh, credentials and credentialing and, and ID cards and got my office at two different sites. I got an academic office and a clinical office. 60% of my time is academic and administrative, and 40% of my time is clinical because in order to have a, uh academic position and training, uh, medical students and residents, you have to remain clinically active, and that makes sense. So we don't want people who aren't practicing teaching how to practice. And so I have a, a small small clinic that I, I've just started in this week. It's taken a while to get all those credentials and stuff uh, going. And uh, and I'm, I'm still living in temporary housing, uh, waiting for my lovely wife to uh, do all the hard work that I have abandoned her to uh, back in Chattanooga of getting the house ready and, and sold there so that we can get a house here. So you all keep us in your prayer that way. But, but things are going well. And uh, just it's a process and it's just as it's only been a month and uh, the organization here is very focused in a certification, recertification process of its academic um, or of its academic facilities right now. So that that'll be completed in the next three or four weeks, and then we'll be moving on to develop other things. So, thank you all. Y'all take care. Bye. 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 Bye.